Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Although the topside challenge has continuously chipped away at that top resistance at 65.65, the market is still pretty much persistent in continuing to do so as the technicals are somewhat bullish and therefore could see a break of 65.65 and look up towards 66.60.85 as a potential target. With any pullback, still looks to see a support around 64.25.60. And as long as we don't get a close under 64.25, then I still feel the way is to continuously see demand return on any pullback or a dip that should rebound and eventually clear the top side and look on towards that 60.60. Even though the US dollar did stage a slight rebound overnight of about 80 points from 110 to about 110.80. Looking at the euro, the market backed away sharply from that downtrend, which consists all the way back to the region of this year of around 114. And therefore, looking at the channel, the market is still somewhat bullish, even though it has buckled slightly. With any uh, down challenge, I see support around 98.55.65. And if we do clear the the top side of this channel here at 99.95, then the call is quite strong to an aggressive rally that is to 104. That would see the dollar index plummet back to 106. Meanwhile, looking ahead tomorrow, we do have the non farm payrolls number with a forecast around 265,000 jobs added in September, with the previous in August at 315,000. Keep an eye on the numbers tomorrow. It will be important. It could actually see a bit of a choppy US dollar. And therefore, I feel there is still potential to the upside. So if we can break this down channel, then we could see an immediate target of around 101.25. Looking at dollar yen, the market still remains somewhat coasting sideways and still underneath the level of 145. As we can see here, that the market still uh, failing to break that top side. And if so, could see another whipsaw price action in case the Bank of Japan may intervene, like previously here. In light of the technicals, they are bearish, and well, breaking down through a bearish pattern and holding with the MACD should enforce a move to the downside, look to 142.60 and reassess. Well, it would seem that overnight the British pound stage has sharp U-turn after the British Prime Minister Liz Truss who doubled down on her market rolling tax cutting agenda. Speaking at the Conservative Party conference, Prime Minister Truss said that cutting taxes was the right thing to do, morally and economically, adding it is the correct that the Bank of England also sets interest rates independently. So it would seem that with market after that sudden downturn, I'm not getting too bearish as I feel the market could actually take out this level of 114.7080. And if so, that would see a projection up towards 118. Since backing away from this 1,730.34 level, I'm not going to get too negative as yet because the downside pullback rejected the level of 1,700.02 to 04. And from there, closed quite positive and therefore could see a further up challenge towards this level of 34. If cleared, then 1,750 to 56 is the objective. As long as we maintain above 1,702, the bulls are still likely to continue to show their faces in the market and maybe even lift the price action higher. Wrapping up with oil, well, the market's now cleared that level of 86 figure 45 and puts 88, 80, 90 in perspective. And while so, we could see this challenge. Looking towards this level, a break could see $91 as a potential call. Any pullback, the market sees the support level roughly around 83 and a half. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, look out for the intraday port. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.